Hi, Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Here to share another scripture that God just popped in my head. Romans chapter 8. Mm, blessed Lord. <laughs> Starting at verse 1, I believe, to verse 2. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. We're going to stop there for a minute. Pat's two cents. When you are in Christ Jesus, when you give your heart to the Lord, you find that the guilt you carried all those years tends to be disappearing. It's waning away. Some of you have an instant release from that. I did. And when you are walking in the Spirit, what that means is Instead of walking after the flesh, when you walk after the flesh, you're doing what you did before you committed to Christ. Do what I'm big and bad enough. Screw who I want to screw. Do what I want to do. Play with it where I want to play. Hey, it's all about me. Right. But when you are walking after the spirit and everything in you wants to cuss somebody out, you walk away. When you walk in the spirit, and you want to go and get that drink, or you want to go and get laid, you open up your Bible, you hook up with other believers, instead of going to the club, or instead of hanging out at whoever's house you hung out at getting high, you hang out at Bible study. Or you go play some basketball with a bunch of guys from church, or, you know, Go hang out, go bowling, shoot pool, whatever, with a bunch of guys from church. Because the camaraderie, you're on common ground here. <coughs> Excuse me. And the camaraderie, you strengthen each other, you fortify just being together. So, conversations come up. Remember when you were unsaved? You know what so-and-so said to me? I couldn't believe they tripped like that. And boom, boom, boom. You know, you're going off having a hissy fit. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to tell them off next time I see them. And what do they say? Yeah, if I were you, I'd kick their you-know-what. I would cuss them out and tell them where to go. And I wouldn't waste my time with them no more. Right. But when you're in with the body of Christ... And you hang with people in the body of Christ. And you remove that former lifestyle away. And those former ways away from you. And you begin to adopt and take up a new way. A new mode of lifestyle. A new way of doing things. God's way. And it, and it will feel foreign at first. It will. But the more you do it, the more you love it. And the more you will value Oh, I see now. I understand. Now, when you get like that, and let's say the same scenario takes place, but you're telling it to a bunch of born-again Christians that you hang with, and you're telling them, oh, I couldn't believe it, boom, 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 boom. You know, what do you hear? Well, number one, the first thing you got to do is forgive. Don't judge them. Understand they're just as broken as you are. Only God's healing you because you placed yourself under Christ. So before you jump off the handle, remember you're dealing with damaged goods. Be compassionate. Be merciful. Because God is merciful to the merciful. So, when you see them next time, just talk to them. You know, that really hurt my feelings when you said so-and-so. Don't confront them. Don't get in an argument. And what you end up with is you're surrounded by people with more wisdom, with more temperance, which is self-control, which is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And the more you begin to adopt what they're saying and understand and listen and take the wisdom, take the wise advice, you will find that it makes your life 
a much easier ride. You're not living in strife. You're not living in bondage to resentment and unforgiveness. You're getting free from all that. You're getting all that poison out. And life is so much easier when you live it God's way. I guarantee you, it really is. Even the fact that you've given up your rights to do so. It's worth giving up your rights. Because the peace that you abide in and the inner satisfaction you abide in, it's, it's glorious. I'm here to tell you, I lived on both sides of that fence. And I'll take this side any day. Just take my word for it and give it a shot. Do it God's way. Whatever you're living, whatever you're going through, whatever you're dealing with, do it God's way. And get to know his heart and his ways by reading his word. Old and New Testament. You get to see what's important to God. You get to see what real godly character looks like. Old Testament prepares you for life. Gives you insight, opens your eyes, gives you more understanding and wisdom. New Testament sets the example, lays the, the pathway ahead of you. Both of them will draw you close to God. But you have to be easily entreated. You have to be humble. You have to be willing to be reshaped and Yield to it. Don't resist what God wants to do inside of you. That's what you call growth and maturity. Do you want to grow in the Lord? Do you want to bear much fruit? Or do you want to be a sin and a shame to your father? Do you want to frustrate the grace of God? Hmm? You want to quench the spirit of the living God. Or do you want to yield, trust, and obey? There really is no other way to be happy in Jesus. It's either your way or his way. And trust me, your way will lead you down the road to destruction. But he, his way will lead you to everlasting life and a life worth living. You will truly Come alive.